know, you're probably missing someone with certain qualities. You mean a white guy who smells the cheap liquor? I've met plenty of you. Cheap? The dingo killed his first love. Other than Miss Archer, of course. Still gross. Still hot. Paging Dr. Oedipus. Why? Also, when did he become a doctor? And is he single? Okay, refocusing. Ugh, oh, sorry I'm late. Robert and I got into another huge fight about... About whether or not we'd care. Paging shadows since we got here first. First? <laughs> <laughs> we set up our command center weeks ago. And of course, our satellites are always overhead, which works slightly better than a guy on a roof with binoculars. Oh, yeah? Well, we have... A guy on a roof? No, something way better than that. Cold-ass pouring rain, cheap-ass binoculars. That! <laughs> I'm rooting for you, Archer. Like when you see a beetle on its back, legs kicking and flailing, not knowing that he's already dead as the shadow of a giant, elegant bird falls over him. I am that bird. At which point the beetle hops up and eats the bird. <sighs> Why build on his metaphor? And what beetle eats birds? You two stay back here and pretend that I'm still with you so the bug hears it. And just how are we going to do that? Just pretend we're talking and do an impression of me. What? Like, my name's Archer. I'm an egomaniac who endangers every mission with my self-serving narcissism. Also, I'm inebriated almost 24 hours a day. <laughs> that was pretty good, actually. Lose the almost and then take it again. Ugh, oh, I can't believe I'm asking you this. Oh, God. Look, <laughs> Lana, I'm flattered, so just make it quick. What? I am not asking to blow you. Then open with that. God, this is already hard enough. Phrasing. Uh, do you ever wonder if you, I don't know, made the wrong choice? Like how I should have brought Ray with me instead of you? Constantly. Woohoo! Sorry, not a political statement, just an accident. And bulletproof windows. I mean... Jesus, they sprung for tracers? That's good prep. I almost feel bad about my inevitable triumph. Triumph? I've been shot twice. Archer, you want to help me down here, or are you just going to watch me get rammed from behind? That one was intentional, right? Archer! I'm coming! The backer is also your husband. You think? Thereby obliterating any division between your work life and your personal life and radically destabilizing your relationship. Yeah. Think. I do think. Velvety embrace of oblivion caress your mind. Drifting. Drifting. Mm. Oh my god! We're going down! Why are you Satan? Better to rule in hell than serve in heaven. We set it on fire. We're on a plane. Where would we go? You just said we're on a plane. We could fly anywhere. <laughs> if your brain were a drug, I'd snort the shit out of it. All right, I don't care who you are. I don't care what you want. Right now, I am smiling. I'm giving my boss the thumbs up like things are going great. But when push immediately comes to shove, we are going to come in there and kill you all. And if a few hostages get hit, them's the brakes. And I am going to like it. Then tomorrow, I'm going to go looking for your families, your friends, and your pets. So enjoy your last moments on Earth, you barely human scum! So... How's the divorce going? Well, you sure know your way around the shaft. Wait, no. I'm sorry. That was coarse. I apologize. Hmm. Looks like a tight fit. Damn it. That one's better. Come on. Hurry up. <laughs> What the hell is happening around here? Oh, my God, are we in Paris? No, but I see France. Seriously? <laughs> How old are you? Uh, apparently not too old to piss myself laughing at your ass. I don't need this. <laughs> don't need it. Pardon me? Delivery for Lorna Kane? Damn it, Krieger. I thought you told me this place was secure. I told you or you thought I told you? This is my last one forever. You talking to us or the ten bars in your pocket? So, here's how we retrieve it. Sterling and Lana, you'll be making ingress. I don't know if we'll have time for that. Oh, uh, not what it means. Rub the center of my breasts to reactivate. What? Sorry, the breasts. I'm terrified of crossing a societal taboo that exists for a reason. Oh, my God. Was that so hard? Cyril, stop talking about candy bars, you zero. Wait, I could do better. The uh, Three Musketeers would pay a bounty of 100 grand to send you to Mars. Boom. Score. Is no one even going to snicker at that? Oh, just kill me. <laughs> Bob 
it. Come on, it's me. Your beef drink turned into beef jerky. And now you've depressed me by making me remember actively sucking the fun away. And that's the last active sucking you'll ever get. Phrasing. Obviously. They're blaming the incident on the IIA. Cornelius gave them a photo of an employee who looks exactly like Cyril. Oh, who's the unlucky handsome devil? This guy doesn't look like me. He's just dough-faced and depressed. Sounds like they nailed it. It's a very rare breed, but vital to the mountain's ecosystem. Because they help seed disbursement, which affects tree growth. I studied environmental science. So did I. Me too. <laughs> Nerd burn. The UN found when they give the expedition money to men, they spend it on booze and whores. <sighs> like the UN knows anything. Lana, it's up to you to get Poco home safely. If I don't make it, well... <laughs> You know what to say to Poco. Uh, no. No, I don't. That's okay. She knows. Poco knows. Poco knows. And nothing to say to your daughter? What? AJ? Oh, just tell her I said bye. Are we boring now? I mean, Cyril always was. <sighs> Fair. And Lana got boring once she got married. Excuse me? Oh, and her hearing is starting to go. When was the last time you all went out for drinks? Uh, I'm guessing drinking alone outside doesn't count. I think she means as a group, and it has been a while. Huh. You know, that might be a nice change of pace. That's a great idea. There's this new bar called I Don't Want to Go Home. It's right next to My Marriage Was a Mistake and down the street from Fun, Cool, Single Life, but that place closed down. Probably because of the bad name. Robert, good. Question, has me being out of a coma made Lana A, better, B, Slightly better, or C, basically the same. I guess she's been more distant. Not one of the options, Robert. Yeah, she seems super invested in that invite. I love your hands. Wow, she is really... They're almost as big as mine. I mean, the same size as mine. We're hand twins. Ugh. Out of practice. All the women here think I'm a child kidnapper. Creep. Failed child kidnapper. Well, there's plenty of fish in the sea who don't think you're a pervert. How about a drink? Mezcal? You know they cut down an acre of rainforest for every bottle of this. I'll cut you down. Wait, no. Actually, the opposite. I, uh, actually would love to hang out. With me? Why? I'm so lame. No, you're not! Ow. Sorry. I thought you'd at least try to block that. We could jump them now. It is a smaller group. No, I live just around the corner. So? So? How about we go kill someone on the corner where your kids ride bikes? Yeah, that's what I thought. The planetarium? Really? I asked you where you go to have fun, not where you went on your fifth grade field trip. It may not look like it, but this place has a crazy single scene. As in they have a single year to live? What's that? Uh, nothing, dear. Enjoy your stars. While you can. Yes! In your face, Green! You absolute piece of shit! <laughs> Who's next? The cowboy? Or the scientist? Ah, the scientist! Oh, God. Oh, oh my God. Oh. Oh, I spilled my drink. Oh, God. Okay, I got that. Tell you what, though. What if... I can't wait for how weird this is going to be. What if we go into your room, cuddle for five minutes? No kissing. And then we retire to our separate rooms and then pleasure ourselves intensely enough to cause injury. And I am setting my watch. Feelings were bad enough, but Jesus, just cheat like a decent person. God damn, that's weird. Yeah, I know, right? Ooh, this one's a real page turner. Right on cue. The dingo! Bum, bum, bum! Damn it, Krieger! Oh, relax. At this distance, it's physically impossible for them to hear us. There's something to be said for the mood of a time and place. That's what the dolphins keep saying. Maybe I thought endangering an innocent bystander wasn't worth it. Endangering innocent bystanders is like 90% of what we do. And the other 10% of the time, we're on break. Oh. <laughs> I did not think it was this kind of wrestling. <laughs> Mr. Kodo says that if he wants to see a grown man in a diaper hug another man, he will check your hotel room later. Sick burn, Mr. Kodo. My cardio's still great, if you were wondering. I wasn't! I've also learned cool to sex stuff. I was pretty inexperienced back then. <laughs> Now you're just trying to hurt my feelings. Reiko was the one who started calling me Archer, so I think from now on, you should call me Sterling. Really? No, forget it. Bad idea. I have a lot invested in that name. I mean, just from a branding perspective alone. Did it work? Am I in? Nope. But, side note, I know how to cure comas now. Would have been useful a couple of years ago.
So, what are they doing here? Um, comic relief. No, I don't think the jogging's working. Hey, what if you put me back in the coma and woke me up again? A hard reset. That's just crazy enough to work. Or not work. Pretty 50-50. I think I remember liking those odds. God, I love science. But we only have one mission. To make the world a better place. Ugh, why do all billionaires have this gross savior complex? You're married to a billionaire. For now. Shut it! What are y'all talking about? Lana cheated on Robert. We just got out! Which is emotional cheating, which is way worse. Yeah, she's a monster. Oh my god, I want to die. Any weaknesses I should know about? He loves pudding? Probably won't come up, but okay. Uh, this isn't personal! I genuinely value you as a co-worker and a friend! Who are you? Oh, screw you, guys! I'm not turning into Archer! Really? Let's look at the evidence! You hit on anything that moves, you party all night and sleep all day, and you've been taking way too many gummy women's multivitamins! Wait! That's an Archer thing? There! That's it! Oh my god! It's gorgeous! Just installed a new engine last year, there's a kegerator in the back, and she gets three miles per gallon. But on a good downhill, I can jack that baby up to four. How do you remember nothing about who you are and everything about this van? I mean, I get it. Present. You may have destroyed my device and stolen my plans, but you left us with a very powerful bargaining chip. My life? Your life. Shit, sorry. I could tell you thought that would sound cool. Here, try it again. Blah, 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 bargaining chip, and... No, oh, shit! Do you ever shut up? At movies, I guess, if they're good. Hey, I'm handcuffed, and he just threatened to kill me. Maybe you could, um, I don't know, call the police? I, I get it. Don't want to jeopardize this lucrative job of picking stuff up and later putting it back down. Check your privilege. I'll never do that and you know it. Also, I'm probably severely concussed, which is why I'm talking to myself. Right, Archer? Right, other Archer. No, no, no. Let's not start that shit. Uh, hey, guys, I think it's possible I wasn't a very good person. Well, what's important is that you're a good guy now. And all it took was destroying 8% of your brain. <laughs> Thank you. Wait, what? Sternly worded letter. I got my pen, and it's mightier than a sword full of word poison. Look at you about to roll over to these boring overlords. Where's your self-respect? You used to be the best in the world at this. Jesus, neck wounds is right. God damn it, I am in. Let's do this. Wait, you guys, I was being sarcastic. You all suck and you always have. Note to self, work on voice tone. Invisible tape recorder off. Boop. <coughs> Thanks, bud. Hard reboot now. You saved my life, Barry. No, you saved mine. Um, how? I don't know. This felt right to say. So impressed with your initiative, grit, and improvisation last night, I knew that IIA had to acquire you. Yes! Really? They have great snacks! And so is that memory stick. Not so fast. Oh, what now? Yeah, curious where you're going with this. There's one thing you fail to understand, Fabian. And when I reveal it, you will realize that you've been taken for a fool. And what's that, Archer? Give me that. My dearest Sterling, do you remember what I told you on your first day of training? You probably don't, but it was always know where the exits are. And with all the chaos and confusion of late, I thought it would be wise to make my own exit, in my own time, on my own terms, and in a way that I can never be found by my enemies, or all my lovesick paramours, who are literally countless. Ugh. And so I've decided that it's time to pass the torch. Try not to burn yourselves with it. What? It relaxes me. And I know my decision may seem abrupt, but we don't always get to choose the perfect moment. Take care of yourselves, especially you, my Sterling, because from wherever I am, I'll be watching over you. Love, Mother. If I see this glass empty again, I will be very unhappy. And how is my lady love? Infinitely better now. 